If this goes down, what does that say about this box up here? Anyone want to take a stab at that? I could unmute you if you want to say, I, I'm specifically asking, what does this say about this box? What, where does this fit inside of the, this family? The, this box, this box, and this box. What, what is this box's role as this fulfills? It's not the easiest question either, so don't feel bad if you don't get it. <laughs> a contraction point isn't a full cycle until it has three phases. It has to have a contraction, it has to have an expansion, and then it has to have a trend. So that box, technically, it expanded, but it's sometimes what we'll call a direct breakout expansion. So that box, that particular box, did not take out, it, it took out the low of the box, but it did not take out the high. This is a contraction point, but it's not going to be a full master pattern cycle like a red box or a green box because it doesn't have the swing high, swing low action. So therefore, this box up here, the way this is going to be defined inside of the overall framework is that this box, providing that, that we keep going down to here, this box for the moment right now is fueling just a, a expansion leg, a down expansion leg for this box. So this, is, this right now is connected to this for the fulfillment of an expansion leg coming down to liquidity right here. This is at all boxes. When you see untouched gray boxes, that means that they were completing a, a either a trend phase or an expansion leg on a previous box. Until they turn into something bigger, these are just building blocks of framework for the, the actual cycles. Let me try to draw this out for you guys for a second. Give me a chance to use the whiteboard. Okay, so like the situation that we're dealing in right now, we have a situation where we have that, that green box, right? And that's the one on the, on the one minute chart here. So we have that green box and let's see, it broke out kind of like this, then it came back, then it came back up like this, all the way down here, came back up and now it went like that. And then we came into that, the gray box, which is right here, right? So that's the gray box. And out of here, we're dealing with that value point right there. So this box right here, as we broke out of it, let's see, yeah, kind of it broke out, then it can held like that. And then now it had this nice move. And then we got this box right here, but we'll talk about that in a second. This box, if we break out of it and we're holding kind of that level right there, this box, it if it doesn't have the full one, two leg expansion to kick off a new cycle, then you can see that because it's holding under the minor framework value, it's just literally completing another expand or a potential expansion leg to come back to liquidity down here. So that's just, it's just connected to this at the moment, but even this box as well could be a fulfillment of this one as well. But this one becomes more significant because we have this action that we're dealing with right now. Right, So this could start something. This box can mess up the fulfillment of this more than this one will. Every time we get a new box with a new one, two leg expansion, this signifies a potential new origination point. This could go on to be a predominant level two days from now. Just depends on how much the market wants to respect it. So, But right now, this is the one you got to be worried about more of, uh, of how it's going to fulfill. But right now, this one is just nothing more than an expansion leg down to complete potentially down to liquidity down here. So that's what that's what we're looking for when we're when we're talking about, you know, how how all these different boxes are talking together. That's it's it, they're all telling their own story, but this this particular one is part of this one's story more heavily than this one. This one right here has the ability to derail this one right here. What we could deal with right here, we're kind of like up like this right now. Um, we could have another expansion leg that comes out like that, and we never actually get to liquidity down here from this box. This just creates its new pattern and it goes. You know that is that is a possibility. Anyway, does that that make sense to everyone though? The gray boxes are always part of the previous box until they become until they get the full expansion. So, and then the gray boxes for trend. Let's pretend we have another origination point. We have an expansion. Okay. There's our, our one, there's our two. Okay. That's what makes it significant. 
because that it's already showing that it's having that funneling out action. So this is this means it's going to be more predominant. This is when your boxes turn red. And then when they go through here, you have your third leg. That's when they turn green right there. And green is going to be the highest form. We have one, two, three. This shows that the market makers, again, what's the market maker's prime aim? They want to keep it in a tight trading range as long as possible because there's a lot of two-way business to be done right here. So if they do this, one, two, three, they're dancing around the central point right here. If they're doing that, the market makers themselves are showing that this is a significant central point. If it wasn't, it would have trended already. Again, that's kind of another topic. But going back, let's pretend this goes down right here, and then we get a gray box right here, or a box, right? And then this box goes like this. And then we come up and we get another box right here. And it goes like that. See how these boxes, you guys can look back. You'll see these boxes. If you look at any gray box that looks seemingly just kind of untouched, it might get touched later though. They can come back and they will get hit later on. It's usually just a lot later. But these two boxes, you see, yeah, they were contraction points. The software recognized them, but they were a fulfillment of what started back here. You guys see how that how that all plays together? That's kind of what I'm talking about here is that with that gray box at the top, you know, that's similar to this one here at the bottom. Anyway, but that's that's these two boxes now become a fulfillment of that last leg there or the the expansion leg and then when we came up through this high right here, that becomes yeah, that's 1 2 3. This becomes leg number 4 right here. So that's your fourth leg of that, that origination point.